guys? Welcome back to Hobby Bowl. My name is Skylar and today is Mobile Suit Miss Day 19. We're almost to 20. We're closing in on the end here. So I just hate that I got sick towards the end here. So today's video is gonna be a little bit disorganized, a little bit weird, <laughs> because that's how I feel today. At my local card shop where I buy my Magic the Gathering cards, they have used anime merch that people will sell them and they give them a pretty good price back and in return, the prices are very affordable. I do not collect figures as we went over yesterday and I just, I don't, I don't, I would rather build my model kit, but I saw these two sitting on the table here the other day. They were buy one, get one free. The first one was 50% off. So I got two full size figures for $8. If you guys buy figures, you know that that's kind of like a no brainer. And they have been sitting on the shelf for so many years and I've always looked at them and I just didn't have any real reason to buy them until they were so cheap I couldn't say no. Little hint, one of them is red. <laughs> but it's from the best Gundam series ever. And I'm not joking about that. What's your guess? Did you guess Char? It's not Char. If it were Char, I'd already have him. Trust me, his figures are so expensive. I would like a Char, an Amaro, and a Sela and a Haman. That's what I want. First one that is red is Luna Maria Hawk from Seed. <laughs> now Seed gets a lot of flack for not being a very good show. And that's true. I would not say it's one of the better ones in the Gundam franchise. It is a little bit more well-loved over in Japan. It was created for a wider audience than us mecha people and that is why I feel like it's not as well received but one thing you can't take away from seed is the amazing suit designs you cannot argue I will stand and die on that hill that seed has some of the best suit designs of most of the series so <laughs> I got Luna Maria Hawk. She, of course, pilots the Zaku Warrior custom for her. She also pilots the Impulse Gundam, the Sword Impulse, the Force Impulse, all of the impulses. Of course, I don't know. I feel like if I didn't buy her, no one was going to buy her. And <sighs> true to the anime, of course, they had to leave her underwear in. So <laughs> she's pretty cool. And then, of course, the other one, I really... Uh, I only got it because it was free. I really, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to get her, but you know what? They're kind of cool. I felt like what better place for these two figures to live in life than uh, with someone who loves Gundam as much as I do. They are very nice. I clean them up. They look a lot better than they did when I bought them. So, you know, if these are yours and you're from my area, they're mine now. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show those guys really quick and then just, just so that it doesn't end at like three minutes. <laughs> Check out this really cool picture from one of my followers. His name is Gunpla Finn. And I know he told me not to say this, but check out this really awesome picture of his Kshatriya in the snow, something I cannot do <laughs> because I live in Georgia and we don't have snow anymore. So it's kind of nice to see Gundam model kits in snow, a concept I would love to execute, but check his out. His socials will be right down below if you want to check out the picture yourself and show a little support. And then, then finally, something I'm kind of upset about, I cannot in good conscience go to a new Gundam store opening today in a mall during the pandemic when I'm sick. So I can't go today, but Gundam Place is opening up in the Alpharetta area. So if you guys are from the Atlanta area or Georgia, Alpharetta, North Point Mall, Gundam Place is having like its grand opening today. Matter of fact, uh, in the con circle, we have a guy who has built a full size unicorn cosplay um, I'll get his socials and hopefully I can put the pictures here on the screen, but it is super impressive. It's really cool. It's at every single convention that I've been to within like the last year, whenever he's built it. So you have to check that out. His website just went live at the beginning of December. So if you guys want to go and check out his website, it's really cool looking. It's black and red. It's, it's really, it's a really nice website. But if you guys could check that out, that's something that I'd want to let you guys know about. <sighs> but, oh my gosh. Uh, so <laughs> that is all I have for you guys today. I'm struggling here. All I want to do is go take a nap. So hopefully tomorrow for Mobile Suit Miss Day 20, I will be feeling better. Thank you guys as always for all the support and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow and bye! I mean, I kind of see the resemblance. Her hair is a little bit darker red than mine is, but...
She has my eyes. I'll give her that. She does have my eyes. I don't know. It's so random, so weird. I don't know. Do you guys collect figures? Where do you buy your figures from? Do you guys have a Shara figure? If you do, let me know. Was it a good deal? Was it $300? Do you have his stall helm? I want his stall helm. That's the one thing that I feel like is missing in my collection is I want more than anything, I want Shara's stall helm. And I will wear it in a lot of videos. <laughs> I gotta go before I erupt in a coughing fit. I hope it's not, no, no, we're not gonna say it. We're not gonna say it. <sighs> okay, bye.